Whoops, almost got in my eye there. <laughs> Welcome back to my garage, the uh, urethane resin has arrived. I'm ready to start uh, fabricating the new engine mounts with some uh, damping, dampening, damping uh, to hopefully soak up some of the vibration and um, help with the carburation. Whoa, a poem. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I'll just um, I'll make a test run first with the um, same setup as I will use in the, uh, the engine mounts and we'll see how this performs and if it works uh, good then uh, I'll um, lay out and cut out uh, and make the mounts and cast the mounts okay let's go I've made a 19 millimeter um, diameter hole uh, in this and it simulates a bushing in a mount I threaded a hole here so that I can fix this 12 millimeter bushing or it's actually a wrist pin which I will cut up and use as the uh, inner part of the bushing and the plan is to place this on top and pour the resin in there I think it might be a good idea to make some dimples inside the bore here for the resin to get some grip so I'll do that, just make a few dimples in the inside. Notice the glasses, Fritz. <laughs> okay, so the dimples are in there. Then it's just a matter of cleaning up everything with some acetone and applying some painter's tape. I'll use the Norwegian equivalent to PAM, you know that uh, baking fat, spray fat. I'll just rub that in there. And that's my release agent that I'm hoping will work. Bake well before using success. I'll leave a link in the description um, to this stuff. And that's 6.87 grams, so almost 7 grams, that means almost 14 grams. Like that, mix it up. So, let's see maybe this. So, yet again, I have, haven't really thought through the whole process here. <laughs> let's see, maybe that one. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, so, in with the resin. I'll let that cure and uh, I'll bring it back when it's done. So it's been curing for uh, about an hour now and it says 30 minutes to an hour um, demold time. It's not fully cured because I can make marks with my nail in it at this point so I think I'll just have to let it cure overnight and um, in the next episode or the next part of this episode will um, will cast the bushings if it turns out okay okay thanks for watching see you next time please subscribe see you next time I went back into the garage after I was done editing the last part of it this video and uh, I thought I'd see how this had gone here if it's stuck or 
probably take this out here. Yeah. So the release agent worked great. The hole is nice and tight. Remove the rest of this resin. I think this is going to work pretty well. Engine mounts next.